This is the latest on Cyclone Kiar. As of 0 o'clock UTC, October 29th, it has winds of 130 miles per hour and night pressure of 938 millibars based on 413's latest analysis. The CDPS rating for the storm is not available as landfall is not forecasted within a 5-7 day period. However, some strong winds and some strong surf could be felt across the coast of Oman and Yemen as the storm is forecast to parallel those coastlines. Right now, the storm is located at 19.0 degrees north, 63.9 degrees east. It's only 333 miles away from Mazira, 401 from Dekum, 471 from Muscat, 51 from Salaha, all those being in Oman, and 1016 from Al Makala in Yemen. The storm is forecast to, as I said, turn towards the southwest and parallel the coast of Oman and Yemen. Right now, there are no watches or warnings in effect as the storm is moving very slowly towards the northwest at this time, but that turn towards the southwest as we have been seeing is forecast to begin in around 36 hours. Here is the TTWC forecast cone. They have the current intensity remarkably at 150 miles per hour. We think that's a bit high. We think that it's around 130. However, they are forecasting general weakening beginning in around 24 hours from now. We think that that's already occurring and the storm could be maybe even a remnant low by that five day period located to the south southeast of Salaha in Oman. This is sea surface temperatures right now around the storm at 27, 28, maybe even pushing 29 degrees Celsius. This amount of sea surface temperature is good enough to sustain a category 4 of this intensity, but however there are a large number of things prohibiting the storm from intensifying right now. Chance of tropical storm force winds on any land masses within the next five days are, um, are not available because as we said no landfall is forecasted. This is what the models are saying. They are, they were in agreement I should say, of a northeaster turn back towards the coast of India. The H1 in particular really wanted it to occur. However, most models are now in agreement that this southwestward turn will occur and it will parallel the coast of Oman and Yemen. Deep layer shear is rising generally. Sea level temperatures are considered to remain pretty good and mid level relative humidity is beginning to drop as well. This is how the storm has been looking throughout the day today. Its eye has been degrading significantly. It looked pretty good earlier today. If I were to give it a 150 mile per hour estimate, it would have been earlier this morning, but it has since degraded and now its eye temperature is around minus 20 degrees Celsius. Dry air is beginning to affect the storm. Wind shear is beginning to rise as well. And this storm is related to weaken as it parallels the coast of Oman. That's all for now. We'll have more on this Cyclone Kiar in the next few days.